Well, it's uh, vlog number two. We're actually here. It's actually a Sunday now, and we're leading into the World Championships. And as you can see, the banks are empty, except for one lonely figure. B23, we're here with Dean. Morning, Dean. Good morning. Um, we were here yesterday. We saw how the match went. Did you? Did, have you? I mean, everyone's talked about changes on the venue. It's a massive expanse of water, isn't it? I bet you wish you were fishing, don't you? Do I? <laughs> they don't realise how bloody lucky they are. <laughs> no, but it's it's a beautiful venue. If if you like like big water fishing and that, th this is this tops the lot. This does. It's an absolute brilliant venue. You know so. Looking forward to it. There's some hard work, uh, some long, long days to be done, but we're all up for the challenge. Yeah, tomorrow is first day of training, so that's when the official kind of practice starts. We get a lot more formality tomorrow, don't? Or from tomorrow, don't we? Yeah, it's very regimented from tomorrow, half past seven into the uh, into the official uh, into the official reception. Uh, drawers pegs, box numbers for the week. Uh, yeah, and it all starts officially uh, tomorrow. Yeah, so I, I assume everything's in place, Dean. The last couple of days has really been about prep at the digs and organising the bait and everything. So yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. The guys, we, we, obviously, we came Friday. Uh, it's very, very important that you try and hit the ground running. Where the guys are all happy with accommodation, which is always a plus. Uh, so today they're back at the at the digs now, setting the gear up, tying a few hooks, and that it's. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good place to be at the moment. Yeah, you, we're going to be uploading you throughout the week, and please don't forget the Preston Innovations uh, England Feeder Team Facebook page, which there's been some interviews with the anglers going on there. That's going to be rolling out all week, so please give that a like if you're on Facebook. Um, we are going to be talking about tactics and all that business as we go through the week. Obviously, we, do, we don't know quite what to expect yet, but Dean, just give us a quick rundown. While you're in this clacking position where we are, just give us a quick rundown on the sections. Um, obviously, we're in A and B, and, yep. you, and just point out where they are, and do you think there's going to be any differences between the way you might be fishing them? Well, first of all, I think feeder will be good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a cracking start. We're all right. Yeah. That's if a good we fish start. feeder, we might have a chance. Uh, <laughs> so going over there, uh, as you can see, uh, as far as you can see, where that boat is, that's A section. 23 teams competing, which is 23 peg sections. Normally on a world championships, if you get 25 teams and above, the sections are split. So it means you're fishing against uh, 12 people and 13 people. But because there's only 23 teams, it's a 23 peg section. And as I show you in a moment, the way that the, the, the shape of the lake is, there's some sections that are like nothing like one end compared to the other. So you can see we've got a section there, which is like a big sweeping internal bend. And we come to the MPEG here, which is PEG 23. There's no gap between those two sections, is there? No gap. And no MPEG we, in there. We have a gap. And if you look over there, that C section, that starts just where you can't see, just to the right, and it sweeps all the way around to where those red boys are. Okay. Obviously. That's, that's C section. So that's actually on a big sweeping ex external bend. So you're covering different kinds of water and everything like that. And then from where those red boys are to as far as you can see where the land is, that's D section. And then there's another section which is around the corner, which is a section all on its own, which is E section, which which hasn't been fished to be fair. So it was the last one to to get dragged with weed in that. So it's really what is important as well because that's not being fished. There's no bait gone in there. You probably want to draw those boxes for training later on in the week, so you get a fair idea what happens when some bait goes in. So it's not just drawing. Uh, on the day you, you need a decent draw with your box numbers for when you're training as well so there's, there's, there's lots of variables on these big natural waters so it's going to be an interesting week we're not drawing for boxes until tomorrow morning half seven half past seven so that is when we know which boxes we're going to be in throughout monday through to friday obviously everybody who's on the bank they've all got a job to do haven't they dean yeah yeah, try and catch as many fish as possible. <laughs> That's the lads on the boxes, the lads on the bank, including myself. We will be all over the match length having a look what's happening and, uh, yeah, and, and just seeing how it's changing, how it's going to develop. You need a good team behind you. And uh, obviously, uh, there's obviously the anglers and then there's yourself, there's Jamie yourself, obviously. Then uh, Eddie Bryden, Graham West and Rich Wilson, who play a massive part in making sure the anglers have got everything they need. Or I want the, the, the guys sitting on the box 
I want them to do is think about fishing. Nothing else. Nothing well, else. Well, thanks for that, Dean. We're going to have a look along the match lines. We've just got a few other tasks to do then. We're going to head back to base camp and just put more preparations in place. So thanks for that, Dean. No problem. All Speak right. to you soon. Cheers, Dean. Well, a lot of the preparation is behind us now. It's Sunday evening. So what we're going to be doing is tomorrow I will be uploading a video for you just to let you know how the first day of training has gone. We're going to have anglers all over the bank tomorrow. We're obviously going to have anglers with the England lads. They're going to be, all six anglers are going to be in the box. They're going to be training, the first day of training, trying a few things out. I would imagine we've not really gone into too much detail about it just yet, but it will be a pretty much a bit of an open day tomorrow for lads just to try different mixes out. They're going to be trying different lines, and a lot of that will be determined by the box that they actually end up fishing tomorrow. As regards to the lads on the bank, we will be up and down behind different sections, behind different nations, having a look at the kind of fish that they're catching, how they're fishing it, and just seeing you know how each box and each section is actually fishing going into the first day so tomorrow evening's upload we'll be just bringing you some information about how it's fished on the first day whether we've kind of seen any early signs of how we may be fishing and what kind of tactics and things might be involved so hopefully you're going to be joining us for that so if you don't want to miss out on that upload just like on all the others please give this one a thumbs up and hit subscribe and that will be the first day of training the first of five days training and that will be then leading into the competition weekend so thanks for all the great messages and we look forward to checking in with you tomorrow